Greetings, friends. I think it is now time for the sprinter to be started. Getting out of the snowbank, I believe the brand new tires in the back will be fine. I really should change the oil, even though the level's fine. But uh, that, this grounding strap, from that silver one down to that, that needs to go in. And then I need to reinstall the battery. And I need to reassemble these screws to hold these pieces back in. And then put the dash piece back on. And then there's a chair. There's a driver's chair right there. Certainly. And then what I should also do is take this bat, take the Optima out of the Civic so that I have a house battery. But then I should also get the inverter. I don't know, but either way. Okay. Okay. Just the grounding strap, the battery, and the seat. Then this thing will start. And I'll, I'm actually quite interested to see. These tires will obviously pull out of this, but uh, maybe I'll scrape it down to the, to the bumper at least. Good morning to everybody. Good, mor good March morning to everybody. The Sprinter has just sat for, I don't know how many months, but all oh, winter basically. Maybe three months for sure, four months for sure, five months? Who knows? Who knows such things? I do. That was easy. Gonna need a seat. No lights on the dash. That's working. I'm gonna let it run for a little bit. So, the beautiful thing, the Sprinter is so large, but yet so small, but I'm coming, I use this to live in, like my, my I can reside within this little box here. And some people think that's nuts. But then when I look into this, it's just like, oh, so much more. It's going to walk right out of the snow. How to determine you have a bad alternator on a 2001 T1N Sprinter. While you're idling, check the voltage of your battery. Actually, I just, I, it was saying 14.4 for a second, that's weird. Yeah, 13.8. I was expecting it to say 12. It was saying 14, but yeah, you can see now it's not. It was 14.4 for a second, which was perfect. Yeah, 12.7. Interesting. So you gotta wait a little bit to see. 12.6. That's no good.
Although these tires are not the Hockey Palitas. Oh, this hot, this headlight's out. They are, however, the first brand new tires I've ever purchased. Just due to Vancouver Island not having good supply of used in this tire range. But they are the beloved Nokians. Unfortunately, they were not made in Finland. They were made in Russia. Um, but yeah, they're called the W... W something. They're called W something. And yeah, I bought them brand new. So I have no doubt. They're weight rated for the Sprinter. And they are also um, snow capacity for the mountain ranges. Yeah, they're the WRC3s. And it was about 500 bucks for both installed. And I didn't share my tire fiasco, but I have it documented. A little back and forth it took. You know, we've got some meltage going on, mostly in the front. Yeah. I, I suspect this is the only tire that spins. It's definitely a little smoky. I'm going to change the oil. It's due. Did I do it before I, after I returned? Who knows? Greetings, friends. So if you have no turbo on a T1N Sprinter, a lot of people just do whatever the mechanic says, but underneath the engine bay, on the passenger side, don't touch the moving belt or fan, but this is your turbo, these two pieces, and so they spin um, when the exhaust pushes through them, makes them spin, and then it also, the other one, then therefore spins and pushes air into the intake. This is your actuator arm. And it's what opens up your turbo. There's, a, there's a, a control module underneath, and then a moving piece at the top, and a moving piece at the bottom. And the moving piece at the bottom is the powered part, and it pulls this open. So one of them is likely the, um, the actuator control piece, uh, portion is seized. So you're not getting any boost, not because the turbo is not good, but because the actuator arm is not able to move as, as clearly demonstrated while the engine's running. Boom. With these remnants of a eBay voltage meter and a USB charging socket that I found in my glove box, um, combining the two, it powers the meter so voltage can be monitored from my cigarette lighter in real time. Very lovely. Basically free at this point. My apologies for the crazy shine. So look at that. At idle with the fan on. I'll turn the fan off. Gives me a point again. Oh, and I'll get my house battery disconnected. So 12.3 at idle. About 500. We'll call that 500 RPM even though it looks like more. So you turn your fan on, you think you got your engine running, boom, 12-1 with the fan on full, three, that's two on the fan, that's one on the fan, that's fan off. So the second I hit the accelerator, jumps up a little bit, and then 14-4. So that's about a thousand. But we can we can kind of fine fine tune the second once you're up to fourteen. The second you let off, it just starts to drop immediately. 
So you kind of find where you're gonna be, 14.3, just under 1,000 RPMs. And uh, yeah, it's wonderful device. My apologies, with the engine off, 12.9, 13, 12, ooh, and the fact that it jumped back up is wonderful. So that's how much draw, well, the lights, the headlights, the taillights, the speedometer, and then the fan, certainly the fan, and then, you know, the fuel pump, all those things. Wonderful. And then if I, so 12, 12, 9, if I connect my house battery down here, it still says 12.9. 12, 12.8. 12, hmm. Oh, it goes up when I... Interesting. Wonderful. These wolves in Toronto? Or is an owner going to show up? I don't see anybody with them. And they're moving. That's wild. Interestingly enough, on initial start, the engine revs high enough to keep itself up over 14.4, which is interesting. Close to a thousand RPMs, but below. Interesting. I'm not touching the gear door. So I can just watch this, and then once it drops to 12, then I'll know the engine is idling down. The Junction challenged Toronto itself for industrial development by offering rail sidings, cheap water for steam-driven machinery, and tax-free status. Likely around 1900. High Park in Toronto is wonderful. There's an off-leash dog area that goes a substantial distance. Into the middle there, people ice skating. And then more this way to the north, a tennis court in action. Wonderful. <laughs> 